Ukraine will be able to destroy Russian aircraft if it receives South Korean missiles. Russian President Vladimir Putin visited Pyongyang for the first time in 24 years on June the 19th and signed an agreement with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Details of the agreement are unknown, but Kim said the two countries have a fiery friendship. Experts believe the agreement will lead to closer industrial and military ties between the two countries, which could continue Russia's large-scale war against Ukraine, Forbes reports. The South Korean government immediately responded to this agreement. The country's national security advisor Chang Ho-jin said that if Pyongyang supplies Russia with more weapons, Seoul could provide them to Kyiv. North Korea has not yet announced closer ties with Ukraine, but if it does, it is likely that Ukrainian officials will ask for the same types of weapons that Russia already receives from North Korea. Russia is known to have bought a batch of powerful KN-23 submarine-launched ballistic missiles from North Korea late last year and used them to devastating effect. If North Korea can sell KN-23s to Russia, then South Korea can sell Hyunmu series SLCMs to Ukraine, said Jeffrey Lewis, director of the East Asia Non-Proliferation Program at the Middlebury Institute of International Studies at Monterey. It is not yet known whether Ukraine will ever receive the Hyunmu 2B. However, the US has already given Kyiv dozens of missiles from the Army Tactical Missile System, which have a range of up to 300 kilometers, but insists on their limited use. Washington allows Kyiv to target ATGMs at targets in Russian-occupied Ukraine, but not at targets in Russia itself. That means Russian frontline air bases that house dozens of Sukhoi fighter bombers armed with devastating glider bombs are out of reach, the report says. However, the Ukrainian military can strike these bases using UAVs, but light drones do not have enough firepower to destroy aircraft based at Russian airfields. However, with a few well-aimed ATGMs or other ballistic missiles, Ukraine could potentially disable the entire operational fleet of fighter bombers at the Malshevo airfield in Voronezh, the Ukrainian analytical group Frontelligence Insight noted. However, this could happen if permission to carry out such a strike is received. Even without permission to strike on Russian territory, Ukraine could use South Korean missiles to good effect since there are many valuable Russian facilities in the occupied territories that could be destroyed, Forbes concludes. A powerful explosion occurred at a chemical plant in the city of Zhongshan in southern China as reported by the news portal Guangxia. Witnesses shared videos of the incident on social media. At the moment of the explosion, a fiery column, accompanied by clouds of black smoke, rushes into the sky. The fire engulfed an area of about 300 square meters. Firefighters managed to quickly localize the fire. According to preliminary data, there are no victims of the fire. However, Several people sought medical help due to deteriorating health and were hospitalized for examination. An investigation into the causes of the incident is currently underway. On June 24, another tragedy occurred at a lithium battery plant in South Korea, where at least 22 people died in an explosion and subsequent fire. <laughs> Don't get your hair on, right? 